Hello my Tesla Maniacs, welcome back to another Model 3 UK video. This is just a very quick one, I'm hoping to do this all in one take. So this evening has been a flurry of emails sent out and everyone's got quite excited on the Tesla forums because um, for those of us at least in the UK, I'm assuming other parts of the world as well, we've all been sent emails saying that, and I'm assuming this is to the pre-facelift Model 3 owners, I could be wrong about this, but I'm assuming it's those ones that didn't come with mud flaps, etc. that basically Tesla are now offering you complimentary mud flaps or paint protection film for your rear fenders, free of charge. They're just saying, pick one, you can have one or the other, not both. Uh, you get given a code in your email, and then basically you can order them and they just deliver them free of charge as well, which is amazing. Now, the thing is with this though is, does with this is, is Tesla acknowledging a problem? Now there have been many Facebook posts in the path past that I've seen where people have been complaining about the paint chipping away around the rear fenders and on the side the, the uh, side skirt of, of the car. Um, I quickly purchased mud flaps for my own car and um, body colored ones which is another story which I'll have to go into at some point because I'm not particularly happy with them. I uh, will do that in a future video. Um, so I have not seen any of these paint issues um, in these areas at all. Um, but I could see why many people would, especially in the UK as we go into winter. Obviously with winter, we get the salt spreaders out. So there's a lot of salt and grit and schmutz and stuff that gets kicked up on the car. Since adding my mud flaps, I've noticed a definite decline in the amount of dirt and stuff stuck to the side of my car um, and the back of it, but it still gets filthy. Absolutely disgusting uh, in the winter. So the, the mud flaps definitely help. Um, the ones that Tesla provide are not particularly attractive. Uh, they're not body colored either. They are just plain black. Um, so being I've got the mud flaps already, which I am going to replace at some point, the body colored ones uh, from, I think they were Talk Alliance. Um, I've opted for the PPF uh, and I'm gonna have to give my car a really good clean around that area and try and install it. Um, there's a lot of crap that sort of gets kicked up on that area where I'm gonna install the uh, PPF. And my question is basically, uh, is it too late? to do this now because people have got paint damage already on their cars um, and there's a lot of crap and imperfections now. I mean, I've had my car for just over a year. So is it too late? Well, possibly. For those of you who don't have mud flaps or never installed mud flaps, quite possibly. It, it might be a bit too late. You might have to look at uh, a detailer to try and help you with the uh, paint issues on your car and then install it. But the mud flaps will certainly help. I think because they're black, they'll definitely go with the black cars better than any other color. Maybe blue or red you get away with, but I think for white, they look awful. It might be better on the new ones though because obviously the trim has been dechromed, so it might match with that quite nicely. So, yeah, I mean, uh, is Tesla acknowledging a problem here and trying to fix it before? Or is this just a, a present from, um, you know, Tesla? Just, you know, Merry Christmas, here, have this. But, yeah, I'm just wondering if there was something more to this and they're trying to sort of fix the issue before it gets out of hand and, you know, people start complaining that, you know, their cars are just getting chipped away and they're just badly painted or badly designed. They do, the cars do look nice without the mud flaps on, which is why I went for the body colour ones because it really does blend in with the bodywork and it does actually work quite well. But um, as for anything else, um, yeah, I, I don't like the black ones on the white car at all. So how to order? Um, it's quite easy, to be honest. All you've got to do is um, you should have an email if you haven't go and check your junk email box and so forth and so forth but once you have that email in it there'll be a code that is unique to you and it will say redeem now at the bottom click the redeem now then select which option you want whether you want the PPF for the rear fenders or the mud flaps and then you go all the way through the checkout you select your address etc 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 you will need to log into your account or go as a guest uh, and then at the very, very end, just before you pay, there'll be an option to um, putting a voucher code to so put the code that was in your email in there. Uh, after that, I got an email saying that the order had been processed and the total was zero. I then received another email with an invoice, which a lot of people are complaining already that it does say 50 quid on their email. Uh, so for, for a bit of um, paint protection fill, 50 quid is quite a lot. Uh, and I already get squeegee in there as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just like, well, um, am I getting charged 50 quid or am I not? Um, I'm assuming not. And I know it'll be an absolute uproar if they if people do get charged 50 pound as the invoice states but i don't think that's going to happen but keep an eye on your statements guys for your bank accounts um anyway i think that's about it i just want to let everyone know that this is a thing and you should definitely check out email and get these on order even if you have mud flaps it's worth probably adding the ppf if you don't have mud flaps get the mud flaps 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up. Um, it really does help the algorithm and help this channel grow. Um, thank you for everyone that subscribes to the Facebook Model 3 UK group as well. That channel is growing so quickly. Or that group is growing so quickly at the moment. And I really appreciate it. It's, it's, it's getting, yeah, just, just so many people on there and there's so much help being offered. So thank you so much to everyone that has followed that group and offers help to people that ask those questions on there. Till next time, thank you. Bye bye for now. Why did I just salute? Do you guys like my Christmas tree? Yeah, it's a really nice. I put some Christmas decorations up as of recently. Got this little housey thing here. More stuff like that. The odd occasional nod to where is it? Uh, to Tesla here. And yeah, a little. Oh, no, for goodness sake! Hang on a sec. That's better. Hey, that should be like that, really, shouldn't it? There we go.